Welcome back to Game Soup, coming to you from Gamescom in Germany. Whoa. Now we're going to talk about some of the biggest games of the show, some of our favorite games of the show. Yeah. One of the big reveals was uh, Bioware's new game, Shadow Realms, mm -hmm. which they've been teasing for a while. Yeah. yeah. You've yeah. been chosen? Was there like campaign? That's their tagline, yeah. yeah. They were really creepy, like horror game style teasers, but ended up, it's what, like a. It's not very big, scary. And I'm not <laughs> super. Familiar. It's like a 4v1. Yeah, so it's, a, it's a 4v1. Uh, the one player is like a dungeon master, sort of like a D and D campaign kind of thing. Okay. He's and the Shadow Lord. Shadow Lord, yes. And you you choose which beasts spawn in this dungeon, and then you're invisible, floating around, and you can inhabit any of the beasts, and then attack the four other players with that character. It's so, uh, okay. yeah, it, it's an interesting game. It seems like it's very different for for Bioware, from but literally anything else. When I got the demo, he kept saying it. Everything you would expect from a Bioware game is in here. Right. Yeah. So when I went to the demo, they said. This is first and foremost a Bioware RPG, and apparently there's like a single player area of the game that's sort of like a, a hub world between these different uh, yeah. dungeons. I, I don't know, I didn't see what that's about, but it just seems a little strange right now. Yeah, I mean, what this I played was super looks fun. like a hack and slash right now. I mean, this is my first time seeing footage. It looks like Hogwarts. It looks awesome. It looks like a yeah. Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. They, they, so the, she's wearing a hoodie, though, right? Like, yeah. it's a weird mesh. Guy's wearing a shirt, shirt. And tie. It's it a takes place in modern days, but the you modern day characters get pulled into the Shadow Realm. Okay, that makes right. sense. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's really fun. As the Shadow Lord, you can say, okay, it looks like in this dungeon, this is a choke point, so I'll set up a spike trap yeah, here. so it reminds me of, like, Orcs Must Die. A little bit, yeah. yeah, right? a little bit, sure. yeah, yeah. Or sort of a little bit like Fable Legends, too. I mean, it's, it's, it's yeah. one of those, there are, like, specific phrases that I will just trust will be a good game. It's like the pedigree of, like, Bioware RPG is one of those where, like, yep, I will at least play this sure, and try sure. it. And it's like, I even like that Sonic game on DS, like... I, oh, I feel I like completely you, forgot they did yeah, that. Yeah, the yeah. Brotherhood, whatever. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. They made yeah. that game actually. You point out that four v one seems to be an emerging trend. We got Evolve. Of Absolutely. Course. So Evolve, sort of not the first four v one game, but oh, no, sort okay. of credited with like that recent. It's got its hashtag. Yeah, that's its hashtag, hashtag 4v1. 4v1. Uh, yeah. Then there's the uh, Shadow Realms from Bioware, yeah. and then I saw Dying Light, and I, the demo was just normal yeah, zombie new, parkour or whatever. Yeah. And as we got to our extraction point, another player invaded us, yeah. and it becomes a, a four v one against a super powerful zombie that is way faster than you are. Yeah. It's just a, a thing that people have latched onto, sort of with like MOBAs. That's sure. a lot of games are picking up MOBA elements and now yeah, it seems to be Yeah, here we go. Dying light here. Yeah, the like the zombie can uh, can destroy you one on one, but you, you weaken its stamina with like flashlights and you have to uh, you can ki you can kill it once it's a little weak and buy some time before it responds. Yeah. It's just sort of a neat thing. Like I, I didn't expect Evolve is cool, great. but I didn't expect yeah. it to come out of nowhere and, and yeah. like here. So all these things that do that. We're living in the age of four v one, boys. <laughs> what an age to live in. Flying <laughs> cars and four v ones. <laughs> Marty, what games stood out to you at the show? So many games. Uh, okay, the games I knew I was gonna dig coming into it. Uh, Ori and the Blind Forest. Revealed at E three. Revealed at E three. Yeah. It's that gorgeous two D uh, Metroidvania coming next. Uh, that Xbox. sounds like a Marty game. It's yeah. absolutely a Marty game. <laughs> uh, so we knew at E three that it was gorgeous and that it was gonna be emotional. The trailer was all like amazing music and it's like oh something sad is going to happen and a little animal's going to die at some point you were choking back uh <laughs> but the thing that really stood out to me here is that the game it, like the gameplay itself is awesome and tough and deep and so what they showed here was sort of a new platform mechanic where it's called the bash system and there's like nodes in the environment that you when you jump towards you can sort of start uh gravitating around them for a second and then while you're doing that you pick which direction you want to launch off of and so there's just like the entire ground is filled with spikes, and you're kind of ricocheting back and forth between all these different nodes. But then it gets more complicated because enemy projectiles can also be gravitated around, and you can shoot them back at enemies while also propelling yourself up to the next area. It's I don't even know how to describe it. That sounds it. so complicated. Yeah, no. I get an aneurysm. Like, Ori, what are you doing? Let's uh, go back to just beautiful 2D emotional <laughs> yeah, exactly. game. Yeah. Uh, no, it plays really well. It's really intuitive. It sounds really dumb when I describe it because I'm tired and exhausted and want to yeah. drink. But uh, the game is the game is incredible. I just I'm really excited for more of it. Yeah. Bloodborne finally yeah. got to play that. So, okay, yes. yeah. Give us give us the download on that. So that's uh, you know uh, that's that's uh, Miyazaki's game, the guy who did uh, Dark Souls One. Uh, it's pretty much it's not a Souls game, but it's a Souls game. Uh, the yeah. big thing here is so Colin at E3 said it's a little bit faster than Dark Souls, and that's why I like it. I called him an idiot, and then I played it. Colin was right. You're an idiot. I'm the idiot. We're all the so idiots. The one so thing they revealed here at Gamescom is uh, there's a new system where if you take damage, you can immediately damage who attacked you and get some of that health back. That's huge yeah. for a Souls game. So and that's also a thing that will increase the speed. Because sometimes when you're hit, you're like, oh, I'm going to back off, take it easy. Now you want to get more And now you want to go back in so and fight. Miyazaki yeah. in this game described health as your will to live. And so I like as, you're, he's like, as you get hit, your will to live goes down. But if you take a chance and become aggressive, you regain that will to live. 
Well, well it's still health, but that's I, really I like the, the poetic way of describing it. Sure. Um, I, I think the seeing more gameplay now, so before the E3 reveal, there was like leaked gameplay, and that leaked gameplay was really interesting and different, and I thought it was a little more than even what they showed at E3. I think now what they showed here seems to be closer to that. I think it's like... Yeah. Um, a little more of that like crazy fast pace like souls but with like a little more energy to it or yeah. maybe energy is the wrong word but like the pace is very different yeah it's a it, it's more of an aggressive game than a yeah. contemplative game uh, also i'm just a big fan of shotguns like blunderbuss yeah weapons. you got yeah. that thing yeah. that thing is that is spooky dog that is the opposite of airbud <laughs> so like <you're, laughs> uh and you also saw geometry wars 3 yes so we don't have so it. exciting. It is so exciting. We can't show you B-roll right nope. now because it literally doesn't Take exist. Take our word for it. <laughs> uh, Jam Two Wars Three is by a new studio called Lucid, but it's all the guys from Bizarre Creations. Oh, yeah. These are I was the just guys who ask made that. Jam Two Wars One and Two. Uh, it's coming to everything now. It's not an Xbox game. It's Xbox. It's PlayStation. It's PC. It's cross gen. Is it Wii U? Uh, because Geometry Wars did come to Wii. Oh, it did. And DS. Yes, it did. I forgot about yeah, that. Yep. And there's like Geometry Wars everything. Touch. Yeah. Uh, we don't talk about that. Evidently. Um, <laughs> And so the thing is, it, it plays like Geometry Wars, but the levels are 3D shapes. So it's almost like Super Stardust, where oh. the first level was a cylinder. And yeah. so what you fire upwards will curve all the way around the cylinder and come back, almost sphere. like Mario Galaxy. A sphere, yeah. So no, no, it, was a, gun. it was a cylinder. Okay. It was a cylinder. Geometry. And the second, the second <laughs> level was a Nailed peanut. It, buddy. A peanut? <laughs> a peanut shape. Is this... A peanut shape. Okay. I don't know what a peanut is shaped like. Uh, then the third level is an awesome boss level uh, on a cube. But the whole thing is there's 50 boss different level. levels, uh, 50 shapes. I know it sounds weird, but there's co-op, there's competitive. 50 yeah. shapes. 50 shapes of Geo. <laughs> Are they bringing the... Because, um, uh, like, so Jump Wars 2... Yeah. Jump Wars 1 was obviously, like, you know, the two main modes, like the Retro and Evolved. And then in Jump Wars 2, we got, like, Pacifist and yeah. King yeah. and all that. Are they so bringing some of that I back? I specifically asked about Pacifist because that's my favorite mode in Jump yeah, Wars 2. Uh, they said there's going to be five returning modes. It sounded like Pacifist is one of them. And five new modes. Oh, it's wow. It's okay. spread across those 50 levels. Each of the 50 levels has its own leaderboard where, like, when you hop in, if one of your friends beat the score, that level is like a glowing node on a board. It just taunts you. It just taunts you, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's coming next year. The game already looked gorgeous, sounded gorgeous. Uh, I'm trying to wrangle some some sort of exclusive footage stuff, so hopefully yeah. we can get that soon. Well, Brian, what did you like at the show? Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Yeah? Yeah. I'm, I'm a big Call of Duty fan. I play everyone that comes out for a little bit. Uh, but the the mobility, the, the exosuit, you have the, you know, jump boost powers and dashes and uh, it actually makes the multiplayer feel much more different than it has since, I don't know, maybe Modern Warfare 2 for me. Yeah, honestly, yeah. It, 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 the, the just sensation of playing it and controlling that character is really cool. And a lot of people are saying, oh, it's Titanfall. Uh, it's less Titanfall to me and more of it feels like a mix between Tribes and Unreal Tournament, okay. which is a really cool mix. The game is a little bit faster. You're much more mobile. There's a lot more options at your disposal. Uh, but honestly, and to me... Uh, one of the biggest things was they showed off four levels, and three of them were cool, just kind of standard levels. But one of them uh, was paired with this mode. It was set in San Francisco under the uh, Golden, the Gate, Golden Bridge. Gate Bridge. Marty. And Which, like, why, why, can we stop destroying <laughs> the Golden Gate Bridge? I feel like Everything. the Bay, the Bay Bridge is like just so oh. sad in the oh. corner. Like, yeah. pay attention to me, Who guys. I'm to destroy me. <laughs> yeah, I'm perfectly destroyable. <laughs> um, but halfway through the level, like you hear these air sirens and a giant tsunami hits, and so half the level becomes underwater. Uh, <coughs> but it was this mode that was, I think we described it as Quidditch with murder. Yes, so murder exactly. Quidditch, where there's like a single ball in the level and two goals. Each team has its goal, and you have to run and get the ball and then get it back to your goal, and you get one point if you throw it through the goal and, and two points if you actually physically pull it into the goal. But the whole thing is, so you can't fire when you have the ball, but if someone is running towards you, you just throw the ball at them. And they have to catch and it. And then they have to catch and it. And then you kill them. And then they don't have a gun, and then you just <laughs> shoot them. So it was really, it's really interesting. I don't it's know. A, I liked it a lot. It's, the, the game's having a lot of fun itself, f fun with itself, with that mode. Yeah. And then there's another one where they described it that sounded like a MOBA. They were the, like, it's multiple lanes, it's good for objectives, and you can activate turrets along the lane. That's MOBA. Everything's stuff. MOBA. Yeah. You guys should make a yeah. game that's like a MOBA. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> Only one mode is like a MOBA. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Andrew, you guys did show off uh, Claptrap gameplay. Here That's true. Yeah. Uh, which seems awesome. I played that. Yeah? How was yeah, that? it's really fun. So his action skill is called uh, vaulthunter.exe. Yep. And it's, uh, it, it kind of analyzes the situation you're in and gives you like an action skill based on what it thinks. Well, it tries to. It like, tries to. The problem is, like, <laughs> so, so Handsome Jack put it in Claptrap, but it's like malware, like it's like shitty. And so like because he's Claptrap, like, 
if it works right, he'll use the action skill of an existing Vault Hunter, like some from Borderlands 2, some from this, some from whatever. But uh, alternately, it'll do something like a, he'll wear a rubber ducky costume and, and the whole team bounces up and down uncontrollably. Or right, like, like, he'll turn to a pirate ship yeah. and shoots to the 1812 overture. And, like, there there's, two, there's a bunch of oh, weird sorry. stuff. We're really weird. <laughs> there were two like badass units up uh, on high ground, and I was like, okay, I need, I need some power. And I just turned into a duck and started bouncing around and dying. I was like, okay. Yeah. Um, it's, it's really silly. I, there's a checkpoint, and you come back, and it's fine. But I like the attention to detail. So Claptrap is short, short shorter than humans, so they lowered the camera to the ground. <laughs> and so if you walk up to a human, you're like up to their waist. It's yeah. great. He also has a skill where he asks for a high five. And, and if, if, and if yeah. people give it to you, you get yeah. one Your team gets buffs. People don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. only he gets the buffs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're almost out of time. Andrew, did you get to play any other games? Check anything else out that you like? Um, so I didn't get to play anything, but I watched a lot of the live shows and stuff. I saw like the Quantum Break demo. Um, which I'm really happy about. Like I, I've wanted to see more of that game since that reveal. What this was that? Like a year right? and a half ago, I guess. And yeah, this yeah. is the first time yeah. I finally saw it, and I'm really impressed. I, I think, like honestly, like I really liked Alan Wake. Uh, I, I trust Remedy. I liked Max Payne back in the day, but like this is something very new and refreshing. I think it just seems really cool, and I think it lives up to that promise. Um, we were talking earlier about like that. They didn't really, and maybe I missed it, but they didn't really get into the, how the live-action TV stuff is going to work yeah, too much. I mean, but that was such a big aspect of the initial reveal was that it's this like, you know. Simultaneously, it's a video game, yeah. but also a TV show, and what you do in one will affect the other. Yeah, that's kind of all we've heard about really up until now. So yeah. I mean, here, there yeah. was none of that. And it's now great. it was just like a game. It was gameplay, I mean, which was awesome, but it Damn, looked like looking Max Payne. No, I'm saying, do you guys know that the the live action show ships on disc with the yeah. game? I think, yeah. It it does. Does. It does. Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah it does. Okay, you know. So, and then the, the recommended playing and viewing is you play an act of the game, then watch an act of the show, and you make choices in the game. Uh, and that determines what you see next on the show. They they filmed oh. multiple versions of scenes. Oh wow! Man, you yeah. know a lot more about this than we do. Oh, no, you had Sam Wake on the show. We had him on the show. <laughs> yeah. 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 Marty and I didn't know how it worked. Like, I mean, you assume that like to make a live action TV show, they would want it distributed somewhere and you know to recoup some of that investment. But if it's actually part of the game, that's really interesting. I didn't realize that. Yeah. So what we're actually seeing here is we, you know, they described it as a third person action game, and now we see third person shooter with cover. Sure. There's also like these time, time bubble mechanics. Mechanic. Yeah. You can freeze an enemy. Shoot a bunch of bullets, and then when that time bubble collapses, yeah, they, just, all cl they all, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really the game cool. It looks gorgeous, obviously. Yeah. And yeah, Remedy, like like Andrew said, like Man. Remedy has a Brad pedigree. I trust the guys. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, that's about it for us here from Gamescom. I think we've arrived at the end of our long journey. Whoa! <laughs> uh. Thank you so much for <laughs> hanging out with this week, with us this week, tuning into all of our coverage. If you missed anything, you can find everything at ign.com/gamescom. Also, I want to thank Gamescom for having us here. Yes. We had a great time. Hope to be back next year. If you're watching live, stay tuned for our WWE 2K15 roster reveal going live at 10 a.m. Pacific. Thank you, Marty. Thank you, My Brian. Pleasure. Thank you, Andrew. My name is Damon. This has been IGN Live from Gamescom, and we're out. <laughs>